Hey guys, uh, Melissa Mayhem here, and uh, today I just want to talk about a really underappreciated hidden gem, Dark Waters. Not to be confused with Dark Water. Um, this is Dark Waters by Marianne Obano. And um, basically in the prologue we see an isolated island, um, a convent with a sinister order of nuns. And a demon artifact that's a sculptured seal with a demonic head, basically. Uh, then we meet Elizabeth, who she finds out her father's been regularly giving money to this convent. Um, Dark Waters relies heavily on mood and atmosphere, and it was shot in the Ukraine at the Odessa Catacombs. So the atmosphere and the scenery are just really, really cool. Um, there's a shot where we see a chapel being flooded and the walls are collapsing and a priest almost drowns before being impaled through the throat by um, a giant cross. And, uh, this film also has like underlying tones of H.P. Lovecraft, uh, religion, the power of money. And it's also consistently grim and eerie and the sounds are very unnerving. Uh, some people hate it, but I think it really, I think it works really, really well with the film. Um, I thought the noises were pretty creepy, and I was so pumped to see the monster. And this is before uh, pre CG effects, so uh, yeah. But uh, they had a lot of problems with this film. Um, reels of film stock disappeared. The monster got lost at one point and ended up at, I believe, um, a music choir practice. And yeah. Um, it's amazing all the problems that they went through. It got sold on the black market. He made no money off it until finally No Shame put out this copy. Um, it's out of print now. I think I paid maybe $25 on Amazon for a used copy. Um, which isn't too bad. I wish I had a splurge though and bought the box set because the box set comes with um, the demon artifact which is pretty right. If I had known how much I was going to love it, I definitely would have went all out. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for something different, I mean, this is an awesome movie. I just, I can't believe it came out of the 90s. Seems like something that would have been from like 70s Italy. Uh, it's just fantastic. It, so yeah, do yourself a favor and definitely pick this up. I really hope that someone releases it on Blu-ray pretty soon. Hopefully Arrow. Uh, thanks guys for listening to my rambling. Bye.